If I describe the Spirit World Challenge in one word, fun. Awesome. Interesting. Challenging. Exciting. Adventurous. Creative. Difficult. Challenging. Teamwork. Fun. Hard. Mind bending. Fun. To be honest, I started from nothing. I had no idea how to move. So I learned how to code. <laughs> we had no idea how to code. Yet. So. That was well. Yeah, there you go. Um, I learned that no matter how hard things can get, there will always be. Challenges and I learned how I became a little more confident after working. I became proud of myself and confident, and I also had a lot of perseverance. I learned that you got to work together as a team if you want to accomplish. I learned that a lot of what we do comes in help in the real world. When I grow up, I would like to be a marine veterinarian. This relates to the Sierra Global Challenge because as we were engineering, the device for the series to swim in. I was thinking of ways that I could engineer things for injured or hurt animals. When I'm older in college, I will have challenges and this will help me persevere to the challenges and help me get good grades, which, I, which would help me to complete my goal and dream. My favorite part is when we actually got down the missions and I was so stressed out about completing them. Knowing that you finished something that you were scared or that was challenging or making you upset or angry or stressed, whatever, best feeling ever. It feels good in your heart, like you've done something really nicely and like the hard work paid off. I think the creative creativity was the most fun because you had like endless ideas you could have done. I think the most fun part was like just having fun with the, your teammates while trying to get through the challenges of the missions. The funnest part for me was like being with everyone because now I feel like they're like my, like my brothers and sisters and it's just really fun to joke around. It's really fun. Yeah. And don't it's really this. fun. The, everybody, like for example, the judges, they're really nice and um, like everything you're going to do is fun. Um, it's gonna like help you grow better for your co coding and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and yeah, just don't be nervous. Mm -hmm. And it's always something to be proud of, as long no as matter you, what. Yeah, as long as you try your best, it's gonna be good. Whenever you're in the spirit of global challenge, sometimes you have times that you feel really sad because like something that you've tried for so long doesn't work. But you always have to remember, persevere. Are you ready for a challenge? And But it, it's also like a fun one. You right. should still do it, even if you're not, even if you don't know how to code, because the challenge teaches you how to code as you go through. Um, I think the less prepared for it you are, I think the more fun it is. Because yeah, like, overcoming all the unexpected challenges of like going out of what you know how to do and figuring it out, which is, really, is I think, the best part. Would you participate in the Spiro Global Challenge again? Yes! yes!